Hey busy bees, summer is here and I know you guys are probably going to go to a lot of backyard barbecues. I want to make your life easier by giving you some fun ideas. Today I'm partnering with Genova Seafood to bring you three backyard barbecue side dishes that are not only super fast and easy to make but they're healthy and delicious too. We're going to be making an Italian caprese inspired tuna pasta salad an Asian-inspired soba noodle salad, and a French-inspired niçois potato salad. You guys, be sure to give this video a like if you guys are excited for summer backyard barbecues, and don't forget to subscribe for more healthy, delicious, and easy recipes. And we'll go ahead and get started with our Italian caprese tuna pasta salad. For this recipe, I'll start by boiling our pasta. In a pot of boiling water, I'll just add a little bit of salt and a dash of olive oil to keep everything from sticking. Then I'll add two cups of dried bow tie or farfalle pasta. I love using this bow tie pasta because it gives it a fancy feel, but it's also really easy to scoop up for the salad. I'll cook it just until it's al dente, about seven to eight minutes. I'll drain it and let it cool completely, and in the meantime, I'll prepare the rest of my salad. In a bowl, I'll add my pasta, some mozzarella balls, cherry tomatoes that I've cut in half, a can of white cannellini beans that I've already drained and rinsed, half a cup of chopped basil, half a cup of diced red onions, and of course my Genova tuna in a convenient, easy to open can. Genova is top-notch tuna praised for its savory, rich taste. The tuna gives this salad a lot more depth and it doesn't taste fishy at all. Genova tuna comes in yellowfin and albacore tuna. I'm using yellowfin today. All I need to do is season it with a squeeze of lemon juice to brighten everything up. Oops, take the seed out. One tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, a drizzle of olive oil, and mix it all together. Beautiful. I'll give it a quick taste. And I think it needs a little bit of kosher salt and a little bit of pepper. One more toss, and voila! We have our Italian caprese inspired tuna salad. This looks like perfection. Let's scoop out a little bit, and I like to garnish it with a tiny little basil. Look at that tuna in there. Mm -mm. Now let's give it a taste. I got a little bit of everything here. I have some pasta, a nice chunk of tuna. Yum. I'm gonna take another bite, going in for some tomato and cheese this time. The tuna here really shines because it's super flavorful, very meaty, and it totally complements the flavor of the balsamic and lemon juice and all the other fixins in the salad. I really also love the taste of the mozzarella with the tomatoes. It's like my favorite salad combo, like caprese. For the next recipe, I know you guys are gonna love this one. This is another variation of my Asian soba noodle salad. Again, I'll start with a pot of boiling water. I'll add two bunches of soba noodles in and I'll cook it for three to four minutes. Once ready, I'll drain and rinse, then I'll set the noodles aside while I prepare the salad dressing. These noodles cook really fast, so you guys don't wanna overcook them. In a bowl, I'll mix three tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, one clove of garlic that I've already minced, half a teaspoon of minced ginger. I'll mix it well and let the flavors meld while we finish up the salad. Looks good. In a large bowl, I'll add in my cooled soba noodles, one cup of chopped Napa cabbage, one cup of edamame beans, half a cup of red bell peppers that I've already julienned, half a cup of shredded carrots, two stalks of green onions chopped, a quarter cup of chopped cilantro, and then our dressing. Look how colorful this is. So good. I'll toss everything together just to make sure the dressing coats. Beautiful. Now let's serve this into a bowl. Get some soba, get some veggies. And now with my Genova tuna, I'll just add some nice chunks on top for some extra protein. I love that this tuna was wild caught and was produced with sustainable practices. Good for you and good for the earth. And finally to garnish, I'll add a little bit of black sesame seeds and a few sprigs of cilantro. 
The salad came together so quickly, right? I love how beautiful it is and it's like we're eating all the colors of the rainbow. Time to dig in. Perfect swirl with a nice hunk of tuna. You guys, I love this salad so much. There's a nice crunch from the veggies, the soba noodles are unexpected, and the tuna is light and flaky and it pairs so well with the dressing. Mm -mm. All right, for our last recipe, we're gonna head back to Europe and make a French-inspired Niçois potato salad. I'll start by prepping my potatoes. I'm using some small red potatoes that I'll just cut in the thirds. Now, in a pot of boiling water, I'll add my potatoes and some haricot vert, which are like French green beans, about a cup, and I'll boil them together for eight to 10 minutes until the potatoes are fork tender. Then I'll take them off heat and drain them. While they're cooling, let's work on our dressing. In a bowl, I'm adding one tablespoon of chopped shallots, one clove of minced garlic, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of honey, a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, three tablespoons of champagne vinegar, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'll start mixing them together, and while mixing, I'll slowly add in half a cup of olive oil. I'm gonna switch to a whisk here to really emulsify the dressing. It's starting to thicken, and it looks perfect. And now it's time to put together our work of art. In a large bowl with our cooked potatoes and haricot vert, I'll add in a quarter cup of sliced red onions, one cup of cherry tomatoes I've already cut in half, a quarter cup of Niçois olives, or if you can't find them, you can always substitute for Kalamata olives that's already been pitted. Those work great too. And some of our dressing. Save the rest for later, I just don't want to overdo it. I'll give it a good toss, mix everything together, and again, it's time to plate these babies. I'll scoop everything onto a plate, and artfully arrange it. I'll add a nice chunk of my Genova tuna and a hard boiled egg. Picture perfect, this is like a work of art. I'll finish it off with some freshly cracked pepper and I have to try this, so fresh. Look how beautiful, I got a little bit of everything and it looks so fresh. Even the food on my fork looks like art. Très magnifique! I love potatoes, so a potato salad is what I consider a must-have at a backyard barbecue. The tuna here is so complimentary to this salad and all the fresh veggies is just so healthy and it just makes me feel good eating this. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipe ideas and I hope it inspires you for your next summer barbecue get together. If you guys wanna learn more about Genova tuna, be sure to click on the link below in the description box. Let me know what you guys like to bring to your summer barbecues. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.